Thanks for joining our continued coverage from the Fiber Conference here in Cornwall, Ontario. I'm with Jason Linkowicz. He is a VP of Fiber Supply Strategy with Tembeck. He's also the chair of the VCO, Value Chain Optimization Network, and he sits on our Partners Committee. Thanks for joining us today. Um, from a partner's perspective, what is the role of Fiber? Well, as you know, Fiber is a network of networks. Uh, effectively, there were eight networks that were created over time related to the forest sector, uh, really looking to develop new product services, uh, and really working at a university level to train new, uh, new potential entrants, I guess, into the sector. So when you look at Fiber itself and, and really getting into university engagement in the whole forest uh, innovation system, it's, uh, it's an impressive start, I guess, uh, the way that we look at it from a partners committee. You know, over a five-year period to develop new products and services takes quite a bit of time. Um, so we're really working on seeing what will we do next. You know, what is the next fiber going to look like after the initial five-year mandate? Uh, and how is fiber currently funded? Well, fiber is currently funded through the federal government, uh, through NSERC. Uh, so they essentially were, went, went through an application process, each of the networks, and to seek funding for a five-year mandate uh, type of period which really was geared around certain strategic themes in each of the networks uh, towards developing products and services and really training uh, university students and having them an opportunity to develop their research uh, in various settings. So when you look at fiber and the creation of the, the networks and networks and all of the students, it really created a collaborative environment amongst the various university institutions working with FP Innovations and working with India Industry to kind of set what priorities should be relative to uh, development of new products and services. So it's exciting, right? It's in terms of uh, all of the effort that's gone into this. And I think from a partners committee and working towards the evolution and going forward, this is something that we'd like to see continue uh, and try and find the right mechanism or the right funding model uh, to see this uh, go forward. And, and regarding um, training of the students, what types of opportunities are, are out there? Is it a different kind of, of job we're trying well, to create? You know, we, we talk in Vision 2020 with FPAC about looking for 60,000 employees uh, for, for the sector. You know, there are various skill levels. And, and with the group, when we look uh, within fiber itself and the networks, you know, we're, we're training highly qualified personnel, right, at a very, a very uh, top level. So, yes, there's jobs in the sector for product development, uh, new, new applications, and really working with our customers, customer in a lot of sense, uh, that are on the edge of the forest sector. So, when I look at this group in terms of training, uh, you're really putting a skill set forward that is there to, to look at the new applications of how you use fiber going forward. And I talked to the, the real fiber itself in terms right. of trees. Right. So. Okay, well thanks for sharing your insight. Yeah. All right. You're welcome.